quantum radar is a new radar detection technology that takes advantage of some quantum properties of particles. It is expected to spot stealth targets, to be hardly detectable, and to be immune to jamming, and to be small and easy to transport. I bet it does an amazing coffee too. Welcome to Millennium 7 Star, the channel that helps you make sense of military history and military technology. Using quantum entanglement for communication and identification purpose is not a new idea, and it goes back to the time when the phenomena were first tested and demonstrated experimentally. However, the research did not heat up because it was thought that the entanglement in practice was too short-lived and delicate to be of any practical use. Which is true, but laboratories around the world quietly kept researching in the USA, in Canada, in the UK, in China, in Russia, and probably elsewhere, hoping to find a way to practically use quantum mechanics for detection and communication. The technology made the news when in 2016 the Chinese announced to have the prototype of an operational quantum radar with a range of about 100 kilometers. The interest for this technology suddenly spiked all around the world, despite the fact that in the West, generally, the Chinese claims were considered to be an exaggeration. We have no details about the Chinese radar implementation, and the progress of other teams in the same area is not publicly known. However, there is one architecture that has been proposed in public scientific papers, and there is some consensus among the commentators that it is the most likely approach used by the Chinese and any other team. Quantum entanglement is a condition of an elementary particle, like an electron or a photon, in which the two particles are connected. In this strange world of quantum mechanics, some properties of the particles are undetermined until a measurement, which actually means an interaction, is made of the property. If we measure the value of the property of one particle, then the other entangled particle assumes immediately at a speed faster faster than the speed of light, a compatible property value. For a long time the idea was just make two entangled particles, keep one close, send the other out. When the local gets its property set, you know that there was an interaction on the other side. Well, that's not how it is supposed to work. Everything started at MIT around 2008. Seth Lloyd and his colleagues were making an experiment with quantum entangled beams of light. Have a coherent light source, like a laser. Shine it through a properly shaped crystal with the proper atomic structure and you will obtain two beams of light whose photons are actually entangled. Lloyd realized that when the two entangled photon beams interfere in a detector, the resulting detection signal should be higher than the signal produced by two totally disentangled beams. The strength of the signal depending by a property called quantum correlation, which in practice measures which percentage of the photons in the beam are actually entangled. In fact, since the light interacts with air, lenses and so on, some of the photons will undergo quantum decoherence, which is a very cool way to say that they won't be entangled anymore. However, the higher the correlation, the higher the signal. This phenomenon was called quantum illumination, and it was verified experimentally for visible light in 2013 in various experiments in the USA and in the UK. An international group in USA, UK and Italy brought this idea one step forward. Call one beam the idler and find a way to store it locally. Call the other beam the probe and send it out toward a potential target that reflects it. 
make the reflected probe and the idler interfere in the sensor. Much of the correlation will be likely destroyed, but what remains will still produce a higher signal, which is the marker of detection. Bingo! There are obviously severe technology problems in making anything like this. Storing the idler is not simple because it is a ray of light that keeps moving at the speed of light. So you either need some fiber optics or crystals where it can bounce freely around without being absorbed or losing too much correlation. Then the probe is still light, which is absorbed by smoke, clouds, humidity, anything. So the range of detection is not going to be anything special. To overcome these problems, the same team made another step forward. What if we do the same with photons of a longer wavelength? For example, microwaves, which would be perfect for a radar, particularly a military one. So they proposed an architecture for a quantum radar, which is believed to be the one everybody is working on. It looks like this. Build a device called electro-optomechanical converter. The converter is a contraption with two resonant cavities, one for the light and the other for the microwaves, separated by something vibrating at a nanoscale like a piezoelectric crystal or a metallic membrane. Excite the optical cavity. It will produce the idler as an output. Store the idler. The microwave produced on the other side of the converter is emitted by the radar as usual. The reflected radar echo is received by the radar, as usual. The microwave is sent to the same type of converter, exciting the microwave cavity and producing light at the other end. The light produced interferes in the sensor with the idler. If there is still some correlation intact, after all of this process, even few photons, the signal will be stronger than the totally uncorrelated beams and it will be the marker of detection. Obviously, there are plenty of technology challenges. The first being the design and the construction of the converters. As far as we know, nobody actually built one for real, but maybe the Chinese. So a quantum radar at the end of the day should be a normal radar emitting microwaves in pulses like every radar, but just with a very, very particular emitter and detector. The advantages of such a radar may be really impressive. First, since the detection depends from the correlation and not from the strength of the signal, the signal to noise ratio should be potentially very high. Even minuscule reflections should be detectable, which means that potentially stealth, which is designed to greatly reduce the echo, would not have any particular advantage because it will still be reflecting something. Since the radar doesn't need a big reflection, the beam can be low power and very discreet, being very difficult to detect, and in principle nothing forbids uh, using all the current API technologies in combination with a quantum radar. It is also very difficult to jam, if not impossible, because everything which is not correlated is basically ignored. Uh, so no external signal could fake the entanglement, at least with the current level of technology. So the quantum radar technology is amazing and revolutionary, not only for military application, but also for civilian applications, for example, uh, in the medical field and everywhere there is the need of non-intrusive remote sensing. Pity we don't really know if it exists or not. What we have is a bunch of scientific papers, lab experiments and the Chinese declarations. I guess we'll see what happens. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye. Okay, this is, oh, no, 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 okay. 
Using quantum entanglement for commun... Oops, no, stop. Source, the app, redo.